Moving on. Different examples. Use substitution to find the Taylor series centered at zero. Then state the interval of convergence. All right, substitution. This is pretty pretty interesting how this works. We're going to take a look at f of x equals the natural log of 1 minus 5x. So think, hmm, okay, well, that's pretty close to one of the basic Taylor series, right? Um, and we're going we're gonna to leverage that one. So we're going to use uh, the natural log of 1 minus x, and I've just gone ahead and repeated that. Obviously, that's in the table, so you wouldn't have to repeat this in your own work on a test or something like that, since you would know that in a table. Um, what are we going to do? We're literally just going to replace the x with 5x. All of these x's are going to turn into 5x. So I want the series for 1 minus 5x. I know it for 1 minus x. OK, well, instead of x, write 5x. It's, um, it, it goes just like that. So just a substitution, nothing more to it. So here it is. Try and fit that all. OK, um, so where I see negative x, I'm going to put negative 5x. I recommend using parentheses because, especially when you get to this next one, one, uh, excuse me, minus one half x squared. We need to square the entire 5x. It's easy to forget that, but all of that is going in for x. 5x quantity squared. Okay, continuing minus one third quantity 5x cubed. Minus dot dot dot. 1 over n, quantity 5x to the n, minus dot, dot, dot. Everything else just gets copied. The x's become 5x. Now we want to simplify. Um, but simplifying, I mean, that's going to be our series. Uh, negative 5x here. All right, this time when we square and we combine, all right, minus 25 over 2x squared. The next one with the cube, 125 over 3, x to the third, minus dot, 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 minus. Here, this power of n would go to them both. So 5 to the n over n times x to the n fits the same pattern here. 5 squared, right? 5 to the third, 5 to the n, x to the n, minus dot, dot, dot. We got the series. Looking really good. Okay, of course, we want the interval of convergence, um, but turns out, well, let's see. Okay, ooh, there's a little bit of thinking here. All right. Look at the interval for the natural log of 1 minus x. It's x between negative 1 and 1, but we're going to do the same thing we did when we found the series. We replace x with, in this case, 5x. So I'm going to put a 5x right there to get started. Now, in order to see the interval, we need to isolate x in the middle. I need simply x there. I, don't, I can't have that 5 because I want the interval of convergence for x. Well, what can I do to isolate x there in the middle? I'm going to divide by 5. And if I've got these three parts, then I need to divide each part by 5. Divide by 5, all three of them. And then I'll have my interval right here. x in the middle, negative 1 fifth to 1 fifth. And you might write it this way, or you might write it as that interval, negative 1 fifth, comma 1 fifth. Either way is fine with me. So it's really it's pretty cool that finding the interval really is the same strategy as finding the series. Replace the x with 5x. Then you got to do a little work to isolate your x there in the middle. Don't forget that. Um, but hey, there there it is. There it is. Let's try another substitution. This one's a bit more challenging.
part b. We'll use substitution. f of x equals x over 4 plus x. Mm, all right. So you look at that and you think, okay, which one, which one of the basic Taylor series seems like what we're going to take advantage of? And if you look down that list, well, wouldn't it have to be 1 over 1 plus x? I mean, that's definitely the closest we can get. Okay. And again, I've just written out the terms for 1 over 1 plus x. You wouldn't need to do write any of this on a test. So we got to work with this thing. We need to make it look more like that to see our substitution. Okay. So I'm just going to write this f of x again. And I've got an arrow pointing to that 4. We need to make that a 1. I can tell I've got 1 plus x. The 1 is, is critical. I need a 1 right there. 1 plus something. Now, when we're done, it won't be x anymore because it'll be a substitution. But I, I can't. i got to have the 1. So make that a 1. How do we make that a 1? Well, we need to divide all three parts by 4. Divide each term by 4. So that won't change the value of the expression, but it will give us the 1 there. So when we divide everything by 4, we'll have this right here. x over 4 over 1 plus x over 4. Think, okay, well, it's getting better. Um, I've got 1 plus something, so I can replace the x with this. But wait a second. There's another x plus 4 here, and in the basic, it's just a 1. 1 over 1 plus x. So what do I do about that x plus 4 on the top? Well, you see my next step here. We're going to multiply. Just pop that thing off to the side. Think of it as x over 4 times this. So there's a substitution, but we're also going to multiply to make it all fit. So working from here, replace x with x over 4. Sorry if that's a bit light on the screen. And here we go. I should put like and multiply by the other x over 4. <laughs> so there's my other x over 4. And here I am replacing all of the x's with x over 4's. In my basic uh, Taylor series. So 1 minus x over 4 plus, and again, important to have those parentheses, x over 4 squared minus dot 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 plus negative 1 to the n, quantity x over 4 to the n plus dot dot dot. Well, we pretty much have it. We just need to clean it up. Uh, let's start just within uh, the series by squaring and doing the powers of those things. So uh, 1 minus x over 4 plus x squared over 16. OK, OK. Get to here, x to the n over 4 to the n. The n there would go to both of them separately. And then finally, we need to distribute x over 4 to each of these terms. And we're going to have the Taylor series right there. So let's see. Well, times 1, OK, times the other x over 4, x squared over 16, times the next one, x to the third over 64, the dot, 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 negative 1 to the n. And then when we multiply here, well, x times x to the n, that's x to the n plus 1. And 4 times 4 to the n, that's 4 raised to the n plus 1 plus dot, 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 we got the series.
Okay, of course we want the interval. I think I did that on the next page. Well, all right, the interval. So since we took advantage of 1 over 1 plus x, we look at that interval. It's from negative 1 to 1. And just like in the previous example, we're going to replace x with what we replaced it with in the series. So that was x over 4. Okay. But we can't stop here. We need to isolate x in the middle. Well, how can we isolate x in the middle? Well, if we're dividing by 4, then we want to multiply by 4. So multiply all of them by 4, and you'll get negative 4 less than x less than 4, or you might just say the interval negative 4 to 4. There it is, your interval of convergence. These, for these values of x, that power series will equal, that Taylor series will equal um, the function. If you stray outside of these x values, they are not going to be equal anymore. That does it for this video. Next up, oh, it's derivatives and integrals. Okay, stay tuned.